am on the road here on this Sunday worldwide transmission. It is already the ninth day of March, 2014, and I'm going to be here with you uh, sporadically throughout the transmission with David Knight uh, there in the catbird seat there in the crow's nest running the show from deep in the heart of Texas, Austin, Texas, and Anthony Gucciardi, who's been in downtown Austin uh, interviewing the trendies and folks that want to uh, come here and basically strike it rich in the media tech landscape, a, a new gold rush, folks. Uh, he's going to be talking about some of uh, the cultural analysis he's been doing with those folks and the fact that the entire fake liberal facade of cultural control has and is continuing to accelerate its downward spiral and collapse. So Anthony Gucciardi and David Knight coming up today. I will be here with you until the bottom of the hour. And we have some other special reports coming up uh, in the second hour of the Global Transmission as well. And I'll be back in studio tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central for the weekday broadcast. Now, when we come back, we've got it up on InfoWars.com right now. This is a big story because South by Southwest Conference is put on by a man named Lewis Black for the last 30 years, uh, who is a total gun banner, a total globalist, a total authoritarian a fake leftist who's waged petty war against uh, the First Amendment here in town for a long time. He tried to have the police arrest uh, our reporters last year, handing out free copies of InfoWars magazine. Uh, he has now teamed up with Mayor Bloomberg uh, and the mayor organization to put on anti-gun symposiums throughout South by Southwest, one of the biggest media and film and music interactives in the world in its 30 years it's grown to be one of the largest in the world mainly exploiting people in a dying media market who want jobs in the establishment and so people come here spending a third of their year's salary in some cases uh, attempting again to find the holy grail uh, when the holy grail isn't even anywhere near uh, this area there are some good films to see you can go hear some interesting people speak uh, but you could always just watch it online later anyways uh, but it's just a giant, trendy event, and we're going to discuss how pathetic it is uh, coming up here today. And by the way, it's not that I'm not invited to the party. I've spoken at big South by Southwest events, been on a bunch of different TV channels here, uh, had films premiere that I'm in at South by Southwest. When they request me to come speak at South by Southwest, I just say, uh, go jump in a river. So let's make it clear, I'm not bitching about South by Southwest because I'm not invited to it. I will not be part of an anti-liberty, anti-gun, anti-sovereignty uh, scam. I will not inv uh, invest in prison corporations, even though 15 years ago I said invest in them. They'll triple in profit if you're immoral. I will not invest uh, in the private run for private Federal Reserve or its member banks. I would not invest in Bitcoin. And I'm saying, look, you want to write a bubble up and write it down? Go ahead. Now it's got government agents connected to it, inventing it. I mean, the whole thing stinks. I follow my gut. My gut. And I'm not saying I'm the most perfect person on earth, but I do have a moral compass. And uh, I just will not be part of South by Southwest other than waging war uh, against its uh, anti-human uh, exploitation uh, of the trendies. Now, when we come back, the big story is up on InfoWars.com. South by Southwest anti-gun event fails. Lack of attendance at South by Southwest event proves the popularity of basic human freedoms. They've been having Mayor Bloomberg sponsored events where literally eight or nine people show up. There's more people on the panels spewing their victim disarmament than there are uh, twits in the audience and lapdog media spilling their guts for the establishment. It's all coming up today. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee 
gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend. You will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live broadcasting across the world right now. And we've got the crew in Austin, Texas at the Central Texas Command Center. David Knight and Anthony Gucciardi coming up in a roundtable discussion on the fact that the so-called liberal facade, not just here in the U.S., but worldwide, is collapsing on every single front. The fact that they are not the cultural arbiters of truth. They do not have the moral high ground. Uh, they are authoritarians who are attempting to domesticate the population worldwide, bankrupt the middle class, and complete our journey into slavery. We're also exposing the establishment right wing as being simply the other wing uh, of this bird of prey that is the kleptocratic neoliberal system. Again, welcome to this March 9th, 2014 Sunday worldwide broadcast where every Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, back weekdays, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central, with the weekday transmission. I am your host, Alex Jones, on the road. And as I said, David Knight and Anthony Gucciardi are there in studio in Austin, Texas. Speaking of Austin, Texas, we have these articles up on prisonplanet.com and infowars.com if you'd like to see the video clips and the photos of this shameful uh, activity on so many fronts. The headline is South by Southwest anti-gun event fails. Lack of attendance at South by Southwest event proves the popularity of basic human freedoms. South by Southwest run by a man named uh, Lewis Black, uh, that is his uh, pen name, uh, has always been anti-free speech, always been anti-gun, always been anti-family, uh, basically authoritarian, masquerading as uh, bearded trendies. And now this year they have sworn themselves uh, to victim disarmament. And uh, Mayor Bloomberg, with his hundreds of millions that he's already spent, uh, has sent in the uh, mayors against illegal guns and moms demand action. And they've put on multiple South by Southwest events uh, the, that the London Guardian and others have given um, lapdog, uh, just sycophantic uh, praise to calling for banning civilian ownership of firearms, banning the transfer of firearms, banning all semi-automatic firearms. And uh, mayors have quit the group and gone public and, and, and actually released the documents the last few months. That's linked in InfoWars.com article, South by Southwest anti-gun event fails. You can read it there. And also video from the New York uh, State House where they showed the documents. The plan is to register all guns and then confiscate. And the mayor pro team in Austin, there's video of that as well, saying, once we register, we will confiscate. So they're also very disingenuous. Now, last week we broke the story, and it got picked up nationally, that uh, the, 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 the Bloomberg money's having an effect. Facebook, headed up by Zuckerberg, who called his users dumb effers because they trust him, uh, they are censoring pro-gun talk, pro-gun memes, pro-gun promotion, pro-Second Amendment promotion, uh, and it's spreading across the web, and they had a meeting bragging uh, how they are censoring free speech. We had a free speech issue last year in March of my magazine. We handed out 10,000 free copies uh, down on 2nd Street, and uh, they had the police come and threaten to arrest us, saying no free speech in Austin until I threatened to uh, sue the police, and they said, sorry, we were ordered to by our Lord and Savior's uh, as Jamie Foxx calls him, Barack Obama's uh, minion, uh, South by Southwest, run by the Austin Chronicle, uh, and Lewis Black. 
So it's an ongoing attack on free speech. But when we had 1,500 plus people a few months ago uh, with the land commissioner, Jerry Patterson, down at the Alamo doing a rally for open carry in defiance of the city law that's unconstitutional, the police did uh, stand down, uh, by the way. Uh, when we were uh, doing all of that, uh, he basically, uh, uh, you know, the police chief did the right thing and backed off. They had three people from Mom's Demand Action there. They had three people from Mom's uh, Demand Action. They were given BBC, Al Jazeera, CNN coverage. Uh, CNN would show close shots to not show there wasn't a crowd there, or would show our crowd with them standing in front of it and claim that uh, that uh, that crowd was theirs. They threatened us, threatened to physically attack us. This is all on video on Infowars.com in the South by Southwest anti-gun event fails article. So the London Guardian reported on this, and we have their photos up there and our own video showing literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve media people in attendance in a giant auditorium for five anti-gunners on the stage to spew their victim disarmament. And here's the message of what I'm putting out. CNN, MSNBC are literally falling apart, going bankrupt, belly up, 300,000, 400,000 viewers. That is joke level. This Sunday show has 2 million listeners. My weekday show has 3 million. Much of talk radio has 10 million listeners a day. Some of the bigger shows out there like Limbaugh. These people are a joke. But they always sit up there in the hoax like they culturally control everything. Just like the Attorney General said, we've got to literally brainwash the public with the media against guns. They literally want us as their prey to be disarmed. That is the conscious idea of Dianne Feinstein uh, Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, uh, Michael Moore, all of them have bodyguards, their own guns, they're into guns. It, it, it is a criminal instinct to disarm your political enemies. As Mao Zedong said, all power, political power, grows out of the barrel of a gun. So they're having these events, but Anthony Gucciardi, our reporter, is coming up to talk about this, and he's doing some video interviews going to be airing later in the week on the Nightly News, talking to trendies at South by Southwest, almost none of them are anti-gun. Almost none of them are pro-Obama or pro-Republican Party. They've totally woken up. Look at Congress with a 6% approval rating. It was 10% a year ago. What I'm saying is there's a total collapse of confidence in the system. But still, the mainstream media creates this illusion that moms against gun violence and moms demand action and million mom march is really the five bomb march or the five Democratic Party operative uh, control freak march. It is all a giant hoax, just like South by Southwest is a hoax, where if somebody wants to start their own media, go out and make your own film, go out and make your own music, go out and make your own website. You're not going to learn anything at something like South by Southwest you couldn't learn online. Why pay thousands of dollars for the stupid badges? And again, I don't have sour grapes. I've spoken at South by Southwest, been at movie premieres I'm in in South by Southwest, get invited every year to South by Southwest. And I just said a few years ago when they started censoring free speech, I'm, I'm, I'm boycotting South by Southwest other than invading the big media conference to expose what a fraud it is. We're going to be doing this all week on the weekday uh, radio show with myself and the crew and the reporters. And I'm told there's going to be an open carry march uh, Thursday or Friday. We don't have the day yet from the different Texas groups to counter uh, all five of the uh, Bloomberg people given the big silver platter presentation uh, here for the media. So we're going to crash their event as well, totally take that over with cons with open carry to show the general public that guns aren't dirty. Everybody should take photos of themselves with their guns, put it on Facebook, put it on Twitter, put out your own memes, do your own YouTube videos, crash the enemy platforms of Facebook, the enemy platforms of YouTube and Google, crash South by the Southwest with the First Amendment, crash it with open carry, crash it with liberty, and show them who the real liberals are in the vein of Thomas Jefferson, not the fake culture cultural authoritarians who want to dominate everyone and spew race baiting and race division, selling their socialist agenda for megabanks offshore that are tax 